Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today I have a whole assortment of corrections for you guys, three months in one video. I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you do then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So without any further delay, let's get started. In today's video I am working on nails growing upwards. I have tried so many different techniques on her nails and attempts to fix this trampoline-like shape. And though my client wants very long nails, the more the length, the more obvious this issue appears. The first thing that comes to mind is to just cut all of the natural nail down and grow out beautiful and even nails, but that will only solve this issue for a short period of time. The biggest problem here is the tip on our middle finger's nail that is pointed completely upwards. So I'm cutting this nail down in order to let it grow out properly and cutting her other nails and applying a non-acetic base. After having cut down the natural nail's length and applying the base coat, I am taking our nail forms and of course lowering the form's tip. This way we will be able to change the growth and direction of the free edge with material. Also, I am not applying the poly gel from the cuticle area, but rather from about just one third of the nail plate. I have let that cure underneath the lamp and now it's time to remove the form. However, even though we tilted the nail form down and built the material up at the tip, our problem is still visible. The hump in the middle of her nail I couldn't take down anymore, as it's not just a big blob of material, it's a junction of her natural nail and the material. Therefore, even filing this nail all the way down, it will still stick out. We have formed the free edge and built the top architecture of her nail in order for them to grow it nicer. As for the rest of her nails, I have leveled them out with a base, and now it's time for our coating. And let's fast forward to a month. You'll see quite a big difference between these nails and these nails. There is no gradient finish on the middle finger, and that is because it broke and cracked at the joint between the natural nail and material. However, this didn't happen because her nails don't hold material well, but because the slope was too sharp. Well, that's to put it simply. Here's what happened. Usually upon building the extension structure, all of the material is at the center, which is the point of strength, the area we call the apex. Due to the center, nail extensions can withhold different weights. However, in our case, this center didn't exist. In fact, there was hardly any material there at all. There are a couple ways around this. One, we can avoid lowering the nail form so much before applying material. However, the nails are still going to be sticking up. Two, we could apply more material at the apex, creating a little mountain of material avoiding that slope, but that will essentially take us from one undesirable shape to another undesirable shape. I've also seen another method which is applying material underneath, but I haven't even tried that yet and I'm not sure that would be the best choice here. Have any of you tried the third method before on these kind of notes? Let me know. I'll be waiting to read some ideas from all of you in the comment section below back to her nails. As I started filing down the material, I noticed there was lifting. Her nails are very moist, which often causes lifting by the cuticle. This time, I won't be redoing extensions on this nail with poly gel or builder gel, as it won't last long. Instead, I will be using a gel with fiberglass.
After fixing the broken part of her nail, my client chose an array of bright and colorful gel polishes and told me to come up with whatever design I wanted. So what happened further with my client's nails? We changed her nail shape, got rid of the grown out fringe, and with the exception of her middle finger's nail, the nail that won't hold any material, there was no lifting. The rest of this interesting but bumpy journey I will be sharing with all of you in a future video, so do make sure to ring the bell in order not to miss it. If you liked today's video and found it interesting, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.